I warned you, and now it's almost here. Before this gets taken down, watch this video. Once you know this, there is no going back. This has the power to manipulate your reality, whether you're ready or not. This isn't just some random thing. What you're about to hear is so big and so powerful that it will change your life forever. If you've been paying attention, you already know something has been shifting around you. You've felt it, haven't you? That feeling, that strong energy building up over the past few weeks. This is your last chance to understand what's happening, because once you know this, there's no turning back. Imagine the power of something you've always known, but now that power gets even bigger, stronger, and starts to change everything around you. Now think about this. What if you could use that power to change your reality? Something big is happening right now. A cosmic shift that will forever change the way you experience reality. The energy around us is shifting, and this is no ordinary moment. It's as if the universe is sending a signal, a powerful wave of energy that's directly linked to the moon. This isn't just some distant change that you'll never notice. It's real, and it's something you can feel in your daily life. Whether you realize it or not, the moon's energy is about to reach a point so strong that it can influence your life in incredible ways. This matters because the moon's power is something ancient cultures respected and worked with for centuries. It's not just a light that shines down on the earth at night. It's a force that can guide us, shape our emotions, and even impact the decisions we make. When you understand the energy of the moon, you gain an ability to control how it affects you. Instead of just feeling overwhelmed by the changes in your life, you can actually start to direct these changes in a way that benefits you. Imagine being able to use this energy to guide your dreams and manifest the things you want. Right now, the moon is playing a significant role in our world. Its energy isn't just a pretty glow in the night sky. It has a deep connection with us and everything around us. This energy can make you feel more emotional at times, guide your inner thoughts, and even help you figure out your next steps in life. When you learn how to tap into this powerful lunar energy, you can begin to understand how it impacts your emotions, thoughts, and actions. The moon cycles, like the full moon, new moon, or even super moons, are key moments where this energy becomes even stronger. By aligning with these lunar cycles, especially during moments of heightened energy like supermoons or blue moons, you can harness this energy for yourself. This isn't just something people believe in for no reason. Ancient cultures knew how to work with the moon's energy, and they used it to bring balance and success into their lives. You too can start manifesting your desires by understanding and connecting with this powerful cosmic force. But how do you actually use this energy to change your reality? It's simpler than you think, and I'll show you how. The moon's energy is always around us, but there are special ways to harness it and turn it into something that helps you manifest the life you desire. This isn't about magic or something out of reach. It's a practice that people have used for thousands of years. The idea is to channel this natural energy in a way that works with your goals and intentions. And one of the best ways to do that is through rituals. Rituals are powerful tools because they focus your mind, heart, and spirit on a single purpose. They help you channel the energy that's already flowing around you, guiding it toward your specific desires. Ancient cultures understood this and used rituals for everything from healing to manifesting abundance. Uh, the reason they work is simple. When you set an intention and combine it with a symbolic action, like lighting a candle or writing something down, it sends a clear signal to the universe. It's like saying, I am ready for this change and I am willing to put my energy into making it happen. When it comes to the moon's energy, the ritual doesn't have to be complicated. In fact, one of the simplest yet most powerful rituals involves nothing more than you, the moon, and your intentions. 
As the full moon shines brightly in the sky, it reaches the peak of its power. This is a time when its energy is at its strongest, making it the perfect moment to perform a manifestation ritual. A basic ritual you can try is writing down your intentions under the light of the full moon. Why writing? Because it transforms your thoughts into something physical. You take what's in your mind, put it on paper, and that action begins to make it real. Here's how you perform this ritual. On the night of the full moon, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself, allowing your mind to clear and your heart to open. Think about the things in your life that you're ready to let go of. Fears, doubts, bad habits, or negative situations. Write them down on a piece of paper. This act of writing is like releasing them from your mind and preparing to let them go. Once you've written them down, set the paper aside. Next, think about what you want to attract into your life. Maybe it's confidence, love, success, or peace. Write these intentions down as well. Be specific about what you want and imagine what your life will look like once these things are a reality. Now take both pieces of paper, the one with the things you're letting go of and the one with the things you want to attract safely burn the paper with what you're letting go of. As the smoke rises, imagine your old fears and doubts floating away, leaving space for new, positive energy to enter your life. Once that is done, hold the paper with your intentions in your hands. Close your eyes and picture these desires coming true. Feel the excitement, the joy, and the peace that comes with having these things in your life. Visualize it clearly and with as much emotion as possible. This is the key. Your emotions are what fuel the energy of manifestation. The more you believe in your intention, the stronger the energy behind it becomes. Finally, keep that paper somewhere special where you can look at it from time to time and remind yourself of your intentions. Over the next month, as the moon goes through its phases, keep an eye on the things that start to shift in your life. You might notice small changes at first, or you might experience sudden breakthroughs. Either way, trust that the energy of the moon is working with you to manifest your desires. This ritual is a simple yet powerful way to tap into the moon's energy and use it for your personal growth and success. By aligning with the moon cycles and focusing your intention through ritual, you connect with a natural rhythm that's been guiding humans for centuries. And now it's your turn to use this energy to transform your life. But where does this wisdom come from? And why is it so powerful? The connection between the moon and human life goes back thousands of years. Ancient civilizations like the Egyptians, Mayans, and even the Druids all saw the moon as more than just a celestial body. To them, it was a source of immense power, a guide that could influence not only the tides and seasons, but also human emotions, decisions, and even destinies. These cultures trusted the moon's energy and aligned their rituals, celebrations, and major decisions with its cycles because they understood something that many people today are rediscovering. The moon holds a special power over our reality. Why did ancient cultures put so much faith in the moon cycles? It wasn't superstition or guesswork. It was based on careful observation and deep spiritual connection. They saw the moon's phases as a mirror of the cycles of life, birth, growth, fullness, decline, and rebirth. Just as the moon changes in the sky, so too do our lives follow patterns of beginnings and endings, highs and lows. These civilizations knew that by aligning their actions with the moon's phases, they could tap into the flow of energy that governs all of existence. The moon's cycles were a cosmic calendar, guiding them when to plant crops, make decisions, and perform rituals to manifest their desires. What can we learn from them today? These ancient cultures believed that syncing their actions with the moon's energy unlocked spiritual insights and allowed them to manifest powerful changes. For example, the Mayans used lunar cycles to plan their sacred ceremonies. 
believing that the moon's energy could help them connect with the divine and receive guidance. The Egyptians used the phases of the moon in their rituals for fertility, rebirth, and transformation. They saw the moon as a symbol of both life and death, and its cycles reflected the constant flow of creation and destruction in the universe. These beliefs weren't just based on myths. They were grounded in the understanding that the moon's energy is a natural force we can work with to create change. So how can you apply this ancient wisdom to your life today? It's simpler than you might think. The moon's cycles offer a perfect blueprint for setting intentions and taking action in a way that aligns with the natural flow of energy. Start by setting your goals during the new moon, when the sky is dark and the energy is all about new beginnings. This is the time to plant the seeds of what you want to grow in your life. Then, as the moon grows, take steps toward those goals, letting your actions build with the waxing energy of the moon. When the full moon arrives, its powerful light represents the peak of energy, a time to celebrate your progress and take bold actions to manifest your desires fully. As the moon begins to wane, this is your time for reflection and release. Just as the moon starts to shrink in the sky, it's a moment for you to let go of what no longer serves you, to shed old habits, thoughts, or situations that are holding you back. This is a time for clearing space in your life, just as ancient cultures did, to prepare for the next cycle of growth and transformation. By following this ancient wisdom and aligning your actions with the moon's phases, you can start to feel more in tune with the natural world and the cycles of life. You'll find that your goals begin to flow more easily and you'll experience a deeper sense of purpose as you work with Desha rather than against the powerful cosmic energies that have guided humans for centuries. But the moon isn't the only thing affecting your reality. There are celestial signs happening all around us. While the moon's energy is powerful, the universe is constantly sending other signs through the movement of planets, stars, and rare cosmic events. These celestial alignments are like the universe's way of, of communicating with us, showing that certain energies are at play. It's as if the cosmos is giving us clues that something big is about to happen. And when we learn to recognize and understand these signs, we can use them to guide our actions and decisions. Why do these signs matter? Throughout history, celestial events like planetary conjunctions, eclipses, and star formations have been seen as messages from the universe. Ancient civilizations believed that the sky was a giant map filled with symbols and signs that revealed the future and influenced human life. These alignments aren't just beautiful sights. They carry energy that can affect us on both spiritual and physical levels. When planets align in a certain way or rare cosmic events occur, they create a shift in the energy around us. This shift can bring opportunities for growth, change, or transformation. By paying attention to these signs, you can be aware of what's coming and prepare yourself to make the most of the energy at play. So what signs should you be looking for? Some of the most important celestial events to notice are things like the appearance of bright stars, planetary movements, and rare alignments such as supermoons, blue moons, and eclipses. A supermoon happens when the moon is closest to the Earth, making it appear larger and brighter in the sky. This event amplifies the moon's energy, making it a powerful time for manifestation and change. A blue moon, which occurs when there are two full moons in a single month, is another rare event that brings heightened energy and rare opportunities. Other significant signs include the conjunction of planets, which happens when two or more planets align closely in the sky. These moments create a surge of energy that can influence everything from emotions to decisions and even world events. Now, how can you use these celestial signs for guidance? The key is to be mindful and pay attention to when these events happen. You don't need to be an expert in astrology to notice the signs. Simply observing the night sky and being aware of upcoming celestial events can make a big difference. 
Once you're aware of an upcoming alignment or rare event, take some time to reflect on your goals and intentions. What areas of your life need change or improvement? During a supermoon or planetary alignment, set clear intentions and use the amplified energy to take bold actions toward those goals. If it's an eclipse or a waning moon, this might be a good time for release, letting go of things that no longer serve you. Syncing your actions with these celestial events aligns you with the flow of cosmic energy. When you move in harmony with the universe's cycles, you start to notice that things fall into place more easily. You'll feel more guided, more supported, and more in tune with the natural rhythms of life. Celestial signs are like cosmic roadmaps, helping you navigate your path with clarity and purpose. By understanding and using these signs, you can create a life that's aligned with the energy of the universe, allowing you to manifest your deepest desires and live in harmony with the cosmic forces around you. But there's something standing in the way of your transformation, and it's closer than you think. Often the biggest barriers to your growth aren't external. They're the internal patterns you've been stuck in for years. These old habits, fears, and beliefs shape how you live, think, and act. They can keep you in a loop, preventing you from moving forward, even when everything around you is ready to change. The good news is that the moon's energy is especially powerful when it comes to revealing these hidden patterns, giving you the clarity to break free from them. Breaking these patterns is necessary if you want to grow and evolve. Think of them like invisible chains that are holding you back from reaching your full potential. Maybe it's a fear of failure that keeps you from trying new things, or a negative belief about yourself that makes you doubt your worth. Whatever it is, these patterns are deeply rooted in your mind and can block the flow of positive energy into your life. The moon, particularly during its full phase, shines a light on these patterns, helping you see them clearly for what they are, obstacles in your path. Once you recognize them, you have the power to break them. So what happens when you finally shatter these old patterns? It's like clearing a roadblock on your journey to becoming your true self. You'll start to see new opportunities where there once seemed to be none. The things that felt impossible before, whether it's uh, finding peace, achieving success, or even just feeling more confident, suddenly become attainable. Breaking free from these patterns unlocks a path that was always meant for you. One where you can move forward with more ease, clarity, and purpose. It's as if you're finally letting go of the weight that's been holding you down, Fried, allowing you to soar toward the life you've always dreamed of. So how do you break these patterns? The full moon provides the perfect opportunity for this kind of deep work. During a full moon ritual, take some time to reflect on the habits, fears, or beliefs that are keeping you stuck. Write down everything that comes to mind, those thoughts that tell you I can't or I'm not good enough, and the behaviors that hold you back from pursuing your true path. Once you've written them down, visualize yourself breaking free from these chains. See yourself stepping out of the old patterns and into a new, more empowered version of yourself. As you do this, you can use the energy of the moon to release these blocks. Whether you burn the paper or simply meditate on letting go, imagine the old patterns crumbling away. Feel the freedom that comes with this release, knowing that you are no longer tied to the things that were holding you back. The full moon's energy amplifies your intention, helping you break these patterns with greater ease and giving you the power to create lasting change. By aligning with this energy, you'll not only break free from your old self, but also open the door to a new chapter of growth and transformation. But how do you get ready for these huge energy shifts? The universe is constantly in motion, and every so often it sends us powerful waves of energy, cosmic shifts, that can deeply affect our lives. 
These shifts are moments when the energy around us changes in significant ways, pushing us toward transformation and growth. While these shifts can be exciting, they can also be overwhelming if you're not prepared. The good news is that with a little preparation and awareness, you can use these moments to your advantage, allowing the cosmic energy to guide you toward greater clarity, transformation, and peace. Preparation is key because without it, these energy shifts can cause confusion, anxiety, or disruption in your life. Think of it like a storm rolling in. If you're not ready, you might get caught off guard by the wind and rain. But if you prepare ahead of time, you'll be able to stay calm and navigate the storm with confidence. The same is true for cosmic shifts. When you're prepared, these energy changes don't have to be chaotic or stressful. Instead, they can bring you deep insights, new opportunities, and a clearer sense of purpose. Why is preparation so important? When a cosmic shift happens, it affects not only the world around you, but also your inner world, your emotions, thoughts, and even your physical energy. If you're not in the right mindset, this sudden wave of energy can feel overwhelming. You might experience feelings of restlessness or confusion, wondering why everything feels so out of balance. But when you're prepared, you understand that these moments are actually a sign of something bigger. You're able to embrace the changes, knowing they're leading you toward growth and transformation. Instead of feeling anxious or uncertain, you can tap into the energy of the shift and use it to propel yourself forward. So what can you expect during a cosmic shift? Everyone experiences these energy changes differently, but there are some common signs that a shift is happening. You might start to feel restless or notice that your sleep patterns are disrupted. Vivid dreams or even strange, intense emotions can surface as the energy begins to affect you. It's not uncommon to feel a bit off, like something is shifting beneath the surface, but you can't quite put your finger on it. These are all signals that a major change is coming. Instead of being alarmed by these feelings, recognize them as signs that the universe is working to bring about transformation in your life. During a shift, you might also find yourself questioning things that once felt certain. Old patterns, relationships, or ways of thinking might no longer feel aligned with who you are becoming. This can be unsettling, but it's also a sign that the energy is pushing you to let go of what no longer serves you. These moments of discomfort are actually opportunities for growth as they encourage you to shed old layers and step into a more authentic version of yourself. Now, how do you prepare for these cosmic shifts? The best way to get ready is to create a space of calm and clarity in your life. One powerful tool is meditation. Meditating allows you to center yourself and tune into the energy around you, making it easier to navigate the changes that are coming. Try to set aside a few minutes each day to sit in stillness, focusing on your breath and allowing any thoughts or emotions to come and go without judgment. This practice helps you clear your mind and open yourself up to the positive shifts that are on their way. Journaling is another great way to prepare for a cosmic shift. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you process the emotions that arise during these times. It's also a way to reflect on your goals and intentions, ensuring that you stay focused on what truly matters. As you journal, ask yourself what areas of your life need change and what you hope to gain from this shift. By putting your thoughts on paper, you create a roadmap that will help guide you through the energy transition. In addition to meditation and journaling, it's important to reflect on your goals and intentions. Cosmic shifts often bring opportunities for growth and transformation but it's up to you to decide what direction you want to go. Take some time to think about where you are in your life right now. What are your biggest goals? What changes do you want to see? By being clear about your intentions, you align yourself with the energy of the universe, making it easier for these shifts to work in your favor. Finally, 
make space for the new energy by clearing out anything that feels heavy or negative. This could mean letting go of old habits, toxic relationships, or even clutter in your home. When you release what no longer serves you, you create room for positive energy to flow into your life. As the cosmic shift unfolds, you'll be ready to embrace the new opportunities and insights that come your way, allowing you to move forward with confidence and clarity. By preparing yourself for cosmic shifts, you can navigate these energy changes with ease and grace. Instead of feeling overwhelmed or lost, you'll be able to harness the power of the shift and use it to create the life you truly want. These moments of transformation are a gift from the universe, pushing you toward a higher level of understanding, growth, and alignment with your true purpose. All it takes is a little preparation and you'll be ready to ride the wave of cosmic energy, creating lasting change in your life. But what about the fear that comes with such big changes? Whenever we go through major shifts in life, especially spiritual awakenings, fear is a natural response. It's something we all experience when faced with the unknown. When the truth is revealed, when you start to see the world and yourself in a different way, it can feel overwhelming. You're stepping into unknown territory and your mind and body are wired to react to that uncertainty with fear. But what if that fear isn't something to avoid, but something to embrace? Fear is a natural part of awakening. When you begin to awaken to your true self and see beyond the illusions you've been living in, fear often follows. Why? Because you're breaking free from old patterns, beliefs, and comfort zones that have kept you safe for so long. Awakening is like opening a door to a whole new world, but that world is unfamiliar and stepping into it can feel scary. It's important to remember that fear doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It actually means you're doing something right. You're on the edge of transformation and your body is simply responding to the uncertainty of what comes next. Think of it like standing at the edge of a cliff, looking out at a vast new landscape. Your mind might scream, what if I fall? Or what if this is too much for me? But what if instead of falling, you learn how to fly? Fear is just a sign that you're on the edge of a breakthrough. It's your body's way of telling you that you're about to level up. In spiritual awakening, fear often surfaces right before a major shift in your consciousness. It's like a signal that you're about to cross into a new phase of growth one that will bring more clarity, peace, and purpose into your life. So what does fear really mean? It's not an enemy or something to be ashamed of. Fear is just energy, an intense form of energy that shows up when you're pushing your boundaries and moving towards something bigger. It's your body's way of preparing you for what's coming next. Fear is a messenger telling you that change is happening that you're letting go of old parts of yourself and stepping into something new. It's uncomfortable, yes, but it's also a sign of progress. Every time you feel fear, it's because you're about to expand your comfort zone. And on the other side of that expansion is your higher self waiting to emerge. So how do you embrace fear instead of running from it? The first step is to recognize that fear isn't here to stop you. It's here to guide you. When you face it head on, you transform that fear into power. Instead of letting fear hold you back, use it as fuel to push yourself forward. Ask yourself, what is this fear trying to show me? What am I afraid of losing and what do I stand to gain if I move through it? Often the thing you fear losing is simply an old version of yourself and the thing you stand to gain is a new empowered version of you. One way to work through fear is by sitting with it. When fear arises, don't try to push it away. Instead, take a moment to acknowledge it. Feel it in your body. Where does it show up? In your chest, your stomach, your throat? Once you've identified where the fear lives, breathe into it. Imagine the fear as a ball of energy, and with each breath, see if you can soften it, make it smaller, or even transform it into light. By doing this, you take the charge out of the fear, 
making it less overwhelming and more manageable. Another powerful tool is to reframe fear as excitement. Physiologically, fear and excitement feel very similar in the body. They both get your heart racing, make your palms sweat, and create a sense of anticipation. The difference is in how we interpret that energy. When you feel fear, try to shift your mindset and see it as excitement for the new experiences and growth that are coming your way. This simple shift can transform the way you experience fear, turning it from something that paralyzes you into something that energizes and motivates you. You can also turn fear into action. Fear thrives on inaction. It grows stronger when you stand still and avoid taking risks. But when you take even a small step forward, the fear starts to lose its grip on you. Maybe it's a step toward a new project, a deeper relationship, or a commitment to your spiritual path. Whatever it is, action breaks the cycle of fear and shows you that you are more powerful than your doubts. Each step you take gives you more confidence and courage to keep moving forward. By embracing fear, you unlock even more potential in your life. The fear you face on your spiritual journey is not a barrier, it's a bridge. It's the doorway to the next level of your awakening, where greater peace, clarity, and empowerment await. Instead of avoiding fear, use it as a tool for growth. When you learn to see fear as a companion on your path, rather than an obstacle, you open yourself up to incredible transformation. And once you've walked through the fear, you'll find that it wasn't as scary as it seemed. It was just the universe's way of preparing you for the greatness that lies ahead. But what if you could connect directly to the power of the universe itself? Imagine being able to tap into a source of energy so vast and powerful that it guides your every step, helping you create the life you truly desire. This isn't just a dream or a distant hope. It's something that's possible when you connect with the moon's energy. The moon is not just a rock in the sky, it's a gateway to the divine, a portal that allows you to access the universal energy that flows through everything. By aligning yourself with the moon's cycles, you can open this portal and draw on the infinite power of the universe. The moon is a key to unlocking divine energy because it has always been a powerful symbol of creation and transformation. Ancient cultures knew that the moon wasn't just a celestial body, it was a bridge to something much greater. The phases of the moon mirror the cycles of life, death, and rebirth. And by syncing with these cycles, we can tap into the same creative energy that flows through the universe. Every full moon, new moon, and even eclipses are moments when the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds thins, giving us a unique opportunity to connect with this divine power. Why is the moon considered a gateway to divine energy? The moon influences the tides, plants, animals, and even human emotions. But beyond its physical effects, the moon's energy acts as a conduit for spiritual growth and manifestation. When you tune into the moon's rhythms, you're not just aligning with nature, you're aligning with the universal energy that created all life. This energy flows through you, helping you connect with your higher self and, and the divine plan that the universe has for you. When you work with the moon, you tap into this flow of energy and it becomes easier to manifest your desires and create positive changes in your life. So what can you gain from connecting to this divine energy? When you strengthen your connection to the moon and by extension, the universe, you begin to co-create your reality. This means that you're not just passively experiencing life, you're actively shaping it in alignment with the universe's plan for you. You'll find that things start to fall into place more easily. Your intuition will sharpen, guiding you toward the right decisions and opportunities. You'll feel more connected to your purpose, knowing that you are working with the universe to bring your dreams into reality. This connection also brings a sense of peace and clarity as you begin to trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it should. How can you deepen your connection to the moon's energy and in turn, the divine power of the universe?
one of the most effective ways is through meditation. During powerful lunar phases, such as the new moon, full moon, or lunar eclipses, take time to meditate and tune into the energy around you. As you meditate, visualize yourself bathed in moonlight, allowing its energy to fill you from head to toe. Imagine the light opening a portal to the universe, connecting you to its infinite power and wisdom. This practice helps you create a direct link to the divine, allowing you to draw on that energy to manifest your desires. Another powerful tool is visualization. When you visualize during lunar phases, especially during the new moon, when the energy is primed for new beginnings, you amplify your intentions. Picture your goals as seeds that you plant in the fertile soil of the universe. See them growing and blossoming under the light of the moon, nurtured by the divine energy that flows through you and everything around you. Visualization aligns your mind and spirit with the universe, making it easier for your desires to take root and become reality. Gratitude is another way to strengthen your connection. When you express gratitude, you raise your vibration, aligning yourself with the universe's frequency of abundance and love. During each lunar phase, take a moment to reflect on what you are grateful for. Write it down, speak it out loud, or simply meditate on the feelings of gratitude. This practice shifts your energy, helping you attract more of what you desire. It also reinforces your connection to the universe, reminding you that you are a part of something much greater and that the divine power is always available to you. Trust is also essential in deepening your connection to divine energy. Trust that the universe is working with you, even when things don't seem to be going as planned. Sometimes the universe's timeline doesn't match our own, but that doesn't mean you're not being guided. Trust that every challenge is a lesson every delay is a blessing in disguise, and that the universe is always conspiring in your favor. By surrendering control and trusting in the divine process, you open yourself up to even greater possibilities than you could have imagined. By connecting to the moon's energy and the divine power of the universe, you step into your role as a co-creator of your reality. You begin to move through life with more ease and grace, knowing that you are supported by the infinite energy of creation. Whether it's through meditation, visualization, gratitude, or simply trusting in the process, each step you take strengthens your bond with the universe. And as that connection deepens, you'll find that the universe not only listens to, to your desires, but also works with you to bring them to life. This is the power of cosmic connection an unbreakable link to the divine energy that flows through everything, including you. Now that you know all this, how do you use it to truly shift your reality? Understanding cosmic energy and its influence on your life is just the first step. The real magic happens when you take that knowledge and turn it into action. This is where the power of manifestation comes into play. Once you grasp how cosmic energy works, you unlock the ability to shape your future in ways you may have never imagined. You are no longer just a passive participant in your life. You become an active creator. There's no going back. You now have the tools to create your dream life starting today. So what does manifestation really mean? At its core, manifestation is the act of turning your thoughts into reality. It's about harnessing the energy of your desires and aligning it with the universe's energy to bring what you want into existence. This process involves more than just wishing for something to happen. It requires focus, intention, and belief in your ability to create change. When you align your thoughts with your desires, you begin to resonate with the energy that supports those desires. This alignment creates a powerful magnetic force that attracts opportunities, people, and experiences that match your vision. To start shifting your reality, it's essential to first clarify what you truly want. Take some time to reflect on your desires. What do you want to manifest in your life? Is it a fulfilling career, a loving relationship, improved health, or a deeper connection to your spiritual self? 
Write down your intentions, being as specific as possible. The clearer your vision, the easier it will be for the universe to align with your energy. Once you have clarity on your desires, align your thoughts with them. This means focusing on what you want rather than what you don't want. It's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts or worries, but these thoughts can create resistance and block your manifestations. Instead, practice positive affirmations that reflect your desires. For example, if you want to manifest a loving relationship, affirm, I am worthy of love and attract healthy, supportive relationships. Repeat these affirmations daily to help shift your mindset and align your energy with your desires. The moon's energy can serve as a powerful ally in your manifestation journey. Each lunar phase carries its own energy, providing unique opportunities for different types of manifestations. The new moon is the perfect time to set intentions and plant the seeds for what you want to create. During this phase, the moon is dark, representing new beginnings and the potential for growth. As the moon waxes and grows brighter, you can focus on taking action to nurture and grow your intentions. To harness the energy of the moon, create a manifestation ritual during the new moon. Gather your materials. This can include candles, crystals, or any items that resonate with you. Find a quiet space where you can reflect and set your intentions. Light a candle, take a few deep breaths, and visualize your desires as if they are already happening. Feel the emotions associated with your desires, whether it's joy, love, or fulfillment. As you visualize, speak your intentions aloud or write them down. This act solidifies your commitment to your desires and sends your energy into the universe. But manifestation doesn't end there. It requires action. After setting your intentions, take small actionable steps toward your goals every day. This could mean applying for a new job, reaching out to potential clients, or engaging in activities that align with your desires. Remember, the universe responds to your actions, and by taking initiative, you demonstrate your commitment to creating the life you want. Each action you take reinforces your intentions and helps shift your reality. Another essential aspect of manifestation is staying open to the universe's guidance. Sometimes the path to your desires may not look exactly as you imagined. Be receptive to opportunities and signs that come your way. Trust that the universe is working in your favor, even if things don't unfold in a straight line. The more you remain open to possibilities, the more you'll notice synchronicities and support from the universe. Gratitude plays a crucial role in the manifestation process as well. Cultivating a sense of gratitude for what you already have opens the door for more abundance to flow into your life. When you express gratitude, you raise your vibration, aligning yourself with the energy of abundance and positivity. Create a gratitude practice where you take time each day to acknowledge the blessings in your life, no matter how small. This practice helps to reinforce the belief that you deserve to manifest your desires and that the universe is always providing for you. As you embark on your journey of manifesting a new reality, remember that this process is not just about getting what you want. It's also about personal growth and self-discovery. Each step you take brings you closer to understanding your true self and your place in the universe. Embrace the journey, trust the process, and know that you have the power to shape your reality. By aligning your thoughts with your desires, using the moon's energy as a guiding light, and taking consistent action, you can manifest the life you've always dreamed of. Your new reality is waiting. Step into it with confidence and belief. But what if the secret to changing your reality isn't just about you, but also about timing? Timing can be the missing piece in the manifestation puzzle. Many people often push for their desires to come true without considering the cosmic rhythms that influence their efforts. The universe operates on its own timeline, a rhythm that can feel mysterious and sometimes frustrating. When you try to force things out of sync with that timing, 
you create resistance. You might find yourself feeling stuck or overwhelmed, wondering why your desires aren't manifesting as quickly as you hoped. But when you align with cosmic timing, everything flows naturally and the universe opens doors you didn't even know existed. Why is timing so crucial in this process? Think of the universe as a grand orchestra where every instrument plays in harmony. Each instrument has its moment to shine, creating a beautiful symphony when they come together at the right time. Similarly, the universe has a rhythm and each moment is significant. When you sync your actions with this rhythm, you tap into a flow that can propel you toward your desires. The timing of the universe is not random. It's a deliberate arrangement that supports your growth and manifestation journey. Recognizing this allows you to step into a more harmonious relationship with the universe. Now, let's explore what timing looks like in manifestation. A helpful way to understand cosmic timing is to think of the moon's phases as a clock. Each phase offers a specific type of energy, new beginnings, growth, release, and reflection. The moon's cycles mirror the natural rhythms of life, providing perfect opportunities to set intentions and take action. By syncing your intentions with these phases, you amplify their power. The moon's energy is a constant reminder of the flow of life and how each phase serves a unique purpose in your journey. To harness this powerful energy, start by using the new moon to set your intentions. The new moon represents fresh starts and is an ideal time to reflect on what you truly want to manifest in your life. During this phase, take some quiet time to think about your goals and desires. Write them down clearly, being as specific as possible. As you write, visualize each intention coming to fruition. This act of setting intentions during the new moon aligns your energy with the universe's potential for new beginnings. Next, as the moon waxes and grows brighter, it's the perfect time to take action. The waxing moon symbolizes growth and momentum, making it a great period to actively pursue your goals. Whether it's applying for a new job, starting a new project, or networking with like-minded people, this phase encourages you to put your plans into motion. The energy of the waxing moon supports your actions, helping you manifest your desires more effectively. Trust in the universe's timing as you take steps toward your goals and stay open to new opportunities that arise. When the full moon arrives, it's time to celebrate your progress. The full moon represents completion and abundance, serving as a reminder of how far you've come. This is a moment to acknowledge your achievements and reflect on the intentions you set during the new moon. Take time to celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and express gratitude for the blessings in your life. This acknowledgement not only raises your vibration, but also sends a powerful message to the universe that you are ready for more abundance. Lastly, as the moon begins to wane, it's time to release what no longer serves you. The waning moon encourages letting go of old patterns, fears, or limiting beliefs that may be blocking your path. During this phase, take a moment to reflect on what you need to release to make space for new opportunities. Write down what you want to let go of, and then perform a simple ritual like burning the paper or burying it in the ground. This act symbolizes releasing the old and allowing the universe to clear a path for your new intentions. In summary, syncing your actions with the universe's natural timing can create a smoother, more effective manifestation process. Use the new moon to set intentions, the waxing moon to take action, the full moon to celebrate progress, and the waning moon to release what no longer serves you. Let the universe's natural flow guide your steps and trust that everything is unfolding in perfect timing. As you align with cosmic rhythms, you'll find that your desires begin to manifest more effortlessly, bringing you closer to the life you've always envisioned. Embrace the journey and remember that timing is an essential part of the process, allowing you to co-create your reality with the universe. What if I told you that the energy of others can amplify your ability 
to manifest your desires. It's an exciting thought, and it speaks to the power of connection and community in our spiritual journeys. Many people underestimate the impact that group energy can have on their manifestations. But when you come together with others, you create a force that's more potent than anything you can achieve alone. This collective energy can be a game changer, making it easier and faster to bring your intentions to life. Why is group energy so much stronger? When multiple people unite with the same intention, their energy combines and strengthens, creating a collective force that's much more powerful than any individual effort. Think about it. If one person's energy is like a candle flame, then a group's energy is like a bonfire. The more flames you have, the more light and warmth you can create. This shared focus can create a synergistic effect that enhances your manifestation efforts. You're not just drawing on your own energy, you're tapping into a much larger reservoir of intention and power. This dynamic can help you break through barriers and overcome obstacles that might feel insurmountable when you're working solo. So what happens when you manifest together? By joining forces with others, whether in meditation, ritual, like, or simple intention setting, you tap into a shared pool of energy that accelerates the process of manifestation. This can lead to more significant shifts and changes in your life. When you gather in a group, you create a sense of unity and support that can bolster your confidence and motivation. The energy in the room becomes charged with excitement and possibility making it easier to focus on your goals and dreams. You may even find that your intentions become clearer and more focused when you share them with others. To harness the power of group energy effectively, consider gathering with like-minded individuals during important lunar events or celestial alignments. These moments are charged with unique energy that can enhance your collective efforts. For instance, during a full moon, the energy is ripe for celebration and gratitude, making it an ideal time to come together and reflect on your intentions. Similarly, the new moon is perfect for setting intentions and planting the seeds for future manifestations. By aligning your group activities with these celestial events, you can supercharge your intentions and create an even stronger impact. Here's how to use group energy to manifest your desires effectively. First, find or create a community of people who share similar goals and intentions. This could be friends, family, or a local spiritual group. Regularly meet to meditate, set intentions, or perform rituals together. Consider incorporating various practices such as guided meditations, visualization exercises, or intention setting circles. Each person can share their intentions aloud, allowing the group to hold space for each other's dreams and aspirations. This collective focus can amplify the energy of your individual intentions, creating a powerful dynamic that supports everyone's goals. You can also incorporate rituals that harness the energy of the group. For example, during a full moon gathering, you might write down your intentions and then place them in a bowl together. Each participant can take turns lighting a candle and expressing their commitment to supporting each other's intentions. This act of unity reinforces the idea that you are all in this together, fostering a sense of connection and support. Additionally, use sound and movement to elevate the group's energy. Singing, drumming, or even chanting can raise the vibrational frequency of the space creating an uplifting atmosphere that enhances your manifestation efforts. Encourage participants to express themselves freely, letting their individual energies contribute to the collective vibration. The more you engage with one another, the more powerful the energy becomes. In summary, the power of group energy is a valuable tool in your manifestation journey. By coming together with others who share your intentions, you can create a collective force that amplifies your desires and accelerates your progress. Gather during important lunar events or celestial alignments and engage in practices that foster unity and connection. 
Remember that when you join forces with others, you not only strengthen your own manifestation abilities, but also contribute to the growth and success of the entire group. Embrace the magic of community and watch as your collective energy transforms your intentions into reality. Your dreams are within reach and together you can make them a reality. But what if this energy can do more than just shift your reality? What if it could unlock abilities within you that you never knew existed? The idea of hidden potential can be both exciting and a little daunting. Each one of us is like a treasure chest filled with untapped abilities waiting to be discovered. The energy of the moon with its cycles and phases offers a unique opportunity to tap into this hidden potential, allowing us to shine in ways we never thought possible. Why do you have untapped potential? We all have hidden abilities and strengths that lie dormant within us. These gifts are often buried under layers of doubt, fear, and societal conditioning. Life experiences can weigh us down, convincing us that we are not capable of achieving greatness or that our dreams are too big to pursue. But the moon's energy helps lift those layers, revealing your true power. Just like the moon waxes and wanes, your potential can grow and transform. When you align with the moon's energy, you can shed the doubts that hold you back and embrace the abilities that are uniquely yours. So what does this hidden potential look like? Your intuition becomes sharper, allowing you to make decisions that feel right for you. You might discover that your sense of purpose is clearer, guiding you toward actions that align with your true self. This newfound clarity can lead to a stronger ability to manifest your desires as you become more in tune with your inner guidance. These hidden abilities are waiting to be awakened just beneath the surface, like a seed ready to sprout with the right amount of nurturing. To awaken your potential, use the full moon as a time of reflection and awakening. The full moon is a powerful time of illumination where the moon's light can shine on your inner strengths. Uh, take a moment to find a quiet space where you can connect with the energy of the moon. Meditate on your inner strengths and visualize yourself breaking free from the old limits that have held you back. Allow the moon's light to guide you toward your hidden potential. This visualization can be a profound experience, helping you to see yourself in a new light. You can also create a ritual during the full moon to amplify this process. Gather some supplies that resonate with you, such as crystals, candles, or a journal. Set up a small altar where you can place these items. Write down the fears and doubts that have been holding you back on a piece of paper. Then take a moment to write down the strengths and abilities you wish to awaken. As the full moon rises, read both lists aloud, acknowledging the old and embracing the new. When you finish, safely burn the paper with your fears, symbolizing the release of those limitations. As you engage in this practice, remember to express gratitude for the journey you're on. Gratitude is a powerful force that can shift your energy and open the door to abundance. By acknowledging the strengths you already possess, you reinforce your belief in your abilities. Allow yourself to bask in the moonlight, feeling its energy envelop you, helping you to recognize and embrace your true self. After your ritual, take note of any insights or feelings that arise. You may feel a sense of empowerment or clarity that wasn't there before. This is a sign that the energy of the moon is working with you to unlock your hidden potential. Pay attention to these feelings and trust that they are guiding you toward your path. In summary, the energy of the moon can do so much more than shift your reality. It can help you unlock the hidden potential within you. By using the full moon as a time of reflection and awakening, you can lift the layers of doubt and fear that have kept you from realizing your true power. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and allow the moon's light to guide you toward your abilities, intuition, and purpose. You are capable of achieving incredible things, and now is the time to awaken that potential within you. The universe is ready to support you 
and the moon is here to illuminate the way. What if the final key to manipulating your reality is learning to let go? This concept may seem simple, but it holds incredible power in your journey of self-discovery and manifestation. Letting go is often the missing piece that allows you to break free from the chains of the past and embrace a brighter future. When you understand how to let go, you create space for new possibilities, paving the way for a life filled with joy and abundance. So, why is letting go crucial? Holding on to old beliefs, fears, or past experiences keeps you trapped in a limited version of your reality. These burdens can weigh you down and block your path to success and happiness. When you cling to what no longer serves you, you close yourself off from the flow of the universe. Imagine trying to fill a cup that's already full. You can't add anything new until you empty it first. By letting go of outdated beliefs and emotions, you open yourself to new opportunities and align yourself with the natural rhythms of life. What does letting go look like? Letting go doesn't mean giving up. It means releasing the things that are blocking your path. This can include old habits, negative thoughts, and relationships that no longer serve your highest good. It's important to recognize that these attachments may have once played a role in your life, but as you grow and evolve, they can become limiting. By acknowledging what no longer fits, you can make room for what truly resonates with you. To practice letting go, you can align your efforts with the cycles of the moon. The waning moon is an especially powerful time for release and reflection. During this phase, the moon's energy encourages you to reflect on what's holding you back. Find a quiet space where you can connect with your inner self and think about the aspects of your life that feel heavy or burdensome. Consider writing these things down on a piece of paper, allowing yourself to express your feelings fully. Once you have a list of what you want to release, perform a release ritual to solidify your intentions. This can be as simple or elaborate as you like. For instance, you might choose to burn the paper, visualizing the smoke carrying away your old habits, fears, and negative thoughts. As the flames consume the paper, imagine yourself feeling lighter and freer, as if a weight has been lifted from your shoulders. Visualize your future filled with light and potential, free from the things that have held you back. As you engage in this ritual, remember to set the intention to move forward without those weights. Affirm to yourself that you are ready to embrace new beginnings and possibilities. You might say something like, I release what no longer serves me. I welcome new opportunities and experiences into my life. By vocalizing your intentions, you reinforce your commitment to letting go and making space for growth. After your ritual, take a moment to reflect on how you feel. You may notice a shift in your energy, a sense of clarity, or even excitement about the future. This is a sign that the release has taken effect allowing you to step into a new phase of your life. Remember that letting go is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process. As you grow and evolve, regularly check in with yourself to identify anything that may need to be released. In summary, the power of letting go is a vital aspect of transforming your reality. By understanding the importance of releasing old beliefs, fears, and habits, you create space for new possibilities. Embrace the waning moon as a time for reflection and release, and take part in rituals that help you let go of what no longer serves you. By practicing letting go, you align yourself with the flow of the universe and open the door to a life filled with joy, abundance, and endless opportunities. Remember, as you let go, you're not giving up. You're making room for the incredible future that awaits you. We've only begun to uncover the immense power you now have to manipulate your reality, and what you've learned today is just the start of something life-changing. But here's the thing, if you don't take action now, you could miss out on unlocking a divine, God-gifted power that's waiting for you. What if this is your moment and you don't even realize it? Click the next video before it's too late. 
you'll discover how to harness God's divine power, forever change your reality, and unlock your ultimate potential. This is your gateway to limitless transformation. You might be surprised by what I'm about to share with you today, but I urge you, stay silent, stay focused, and let your spirit absorb what's coming. This message is not for everyone, and in fact, most people who come across it won't understand its depth. This is a message exclusively for the chosen ones. If you feel that deep call within your soul, if you've always known you were different, set apart for a higher purpose, then listen closely. There are things happening in the spiritual realm, unseen forces at work, and only those with spiritual insight will grasp the truth I'm about to reveal. If you're still here, then it means you already feel that pull, the sense that you are meant for something greater, something beyond the ordinary. But let me be clear, what I'm about to share won't resonate with everyone. This isn't a message for the faint-hearted, and it's certainly not for those who are asleep to their true calling. You might find yourself wanting to turn this video off, and that's okay if you do. Not everyone is ready for what's coming. If you're not one of the chosen, this message will feel foreign to you, even unsettling. That's because it's designed only for those who are spiritually awakened, who are in tune with the higher vibrations of purpose and destiny. However, if you've ever felt like you've been fighting battles that others don't understand, if you've ever experienced an inner knowing that you are destined for something significant, then this message is for you. You see, the chosen ones face traps, obstacles, and spiritual warfare that most people never encounter. You've been marked, chosen, and given a mission in this life that cannot be ignored. But with that comes opposition, subtle traps that can derail you from fulfilling your divine calling. So here's the warning. Pay close attention because this knowledge will either empower you or pass you by depending on whether you are ready to receive it. If you're still with me, then you've passed the first test. You are one of the few, the chosen ones, and what I'm about to share will resonate deeply within your spirit. This is not by chance. This message has found you for a reason. Are you ready? Because once you know the truth, there's no turning back. If you're watching this, you've likely felt a calling deep within yourself that you are different, set apart for something greater. You're not like everyone else, and maybe you've always known that. But with that realization comes responsibility, a responsibility to guard your mind and spirit from the subtle traps that can derail your journey. The world is filled with distractions and illusions that aim to pull you away from your path. But as one of the chosen ones, you must avoid these mental traps at all costs. One of the most dangerous traps is doubt. Doubt can creep into your mind, making you question whether you're truly chosen, whether you have a higher purpose, or if it's all just a fantasy. But let me tell you this, doubt is a tool used to shake your foundation, to make you second guess what you already know deep in your soul. When you allow doubt to fester, it weakens your connection to your true purpose. The key to overcoming doubt is trusting in yourself and the calling you feel. You wouldn't be here if you weren't meant to hear this message, if you weren't truly one of the chosen. The chosen ones face this test of doubt more often than others because the forces that oppose your purpose know how powerful you are. You must stand firm and trust the inner knowing that has always been with you. Another mental trap is fear. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of stepping into your true power. These fears are designed to keep you small, to prevent you from claiming the destiny that's rightfully yours. The chosen ones are often tested by fear because your potential is immense and stepping into that power can feel overwhelming. But remember this, the chosen are given the strength to overcome any obstacle including fear. Fear is an illusion, a mental construct that fades as soon as you confront it with courage. The moment you decide that fear will no longer control you, it loses its power. You have been chosen for a reason, 
and that reason is greater than any fear you may face. Comparison is yet another trap that can derail even the strongest of spirits. It's easy to look at others and wonder why they seem further along in their journey or why their path seems smoother. But the truth is, the chosen ones are on a unique path, one that can't be compared to anyone else's. When you fall into the trap of comparison, you disconnect from your own journey, your own power. The chosen are meant to walk a path that is distinctly their own and comparing yourself to others only weakens your progress. Trust that your journey is unfolding exactly as it should. Everything you need is already within you and comparing yourself to others only distracts you from that truth. Then there's the trap of external validation. In today's world, it's easy to seek approval from others to measure your worth by how many people agree with you or support you. But as one of the chosen, your validation must come from within. You weren't chosen to be understood by everyone or to fit in with the crowd. In fact, most people won't understand your journey and that's okay. Your path is between you and the higher forces guiding you. Seeking validation from others only pulls you away from the inner guidance that truly matters. The chosen ones are guided by something far greater than the opinions of others. You must learn to trust that inner voice above all else. Finally, the trap of complacency is one that every chosen one must guard against. It's tempting to get comfortable to rest once you've made some progress, but your journey is ongoing. The chosen ones are here to fulfill a divine mission, and that requires constant growth and evolution. Don't allow yourself to fall into the trap of thinking you've done enough. There is always more to learn, more to become. Stay vigilant, stay humble, and continue to evolve into the highest version of yourself. You've been chosen for a purpose, and that purpose is too great to let these mental traps stop you. Remember, doubt, fear, comparison, external validation, and complacency are the enemies of your progress. Stay focused, stay strong, and know that you are not alone. The chosen ones walk a path that is both challenging and rewarding, but the insights and strength you gain along the way are life-changing. Keep going, keep growing, and trust that your purpose will unfold in ways you can't yet imagine. Procrastination is one of the most subtle yet dangerous traps in the spiritual journey, especially for the chosen ones. It's a mental stronghold that can hold you back from fulfilling your divine purpose, and often you don't even realize its grip until it's too late. Procrastination is not just a bad habit. It's a spiritual chain designed to keep you stagnant, delaying the very mission you were chosen to fulfill. It sneaks into your life, masquerading as harmless delays, convincing you that there's always tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes, and with each delay, the fortress of procrastination grows stronger, trapping you further from your true calling. The truth is, procrastination is one of the devil's most effective schemes. It's a calculated attempt to keep you from stepping into your power, from becoming the person God has destined you to be. Every time you put off what you know you need to do, you are giving the enemy more control allowing him to build strongholds in your mind. These strongholds aren't just thoughts, they become spiritual barriers, preventing you from taking action, from moving forward in your purpose. The longer you delay, the more fortified these strongholds become, making it harder to break free. Think of procrastination as a set of chains, binding you to a place of inaction. Every time you say, I'll do it later, the chains tighten, making it harder to move when you finally decide it's time to act. But here's the most dangerous part. Procrastination doesn't just affect your actions, it weakens your spirit. It drains your energy, dulls your sense of urgency, and keeps you from recognizing the critical moments in your life when God is calling you to act. The chosen ones are not called to live in complacency. You were chosen to make a difference, to fulfill a higher purpose, and procrastination is the very thing that keeps you from realizing that destiny. The devil knows that if he can keep you in a state of delay, 
he can hinder God's plan for your life. Procrastination may seem like a small thing, but in the spiritual realm, it's a powerful weapon used to keep you from fulfilling your mission. Every time you put off what you need to do, you are delaying God's purpose for your life. You are giving the enemy more time to build his fortress around your mind, making it harder for you to break free and step into your true calling. The urgency here cannot be overstated. The chosen ones are here for a reason and time is of the essence. The enemy wants nothing more than to see you waste that time, to see you held captive by the chains of procrastination, unable to move forward in your spiritual journey. But the good news is that those chains can be broken. The strongholds of procrastination can be torn down, but it requires awareness and action. You must recognize procrastination for what it is, a, a, a spiritual trap a delay tactic designed to keep you from fulfilling your divine mission. This is a battle for your purpose and you cannot afford to be passive. Every moment you delay is a moment the enemy strengthens his hold. You must act now with urgency and determination to break free from the fortress of procrastination. The chosen ones are not meant to live in hesitation or delay. You are meant to rise, to move forward and to accomplish the purpose God has set before you. The time to act is now, and the time to break free from the chains of procrastination is today. Procrastination isn't just a harmless habit or a minor flaw. It is, in fact, a spiritual stronghold, and the Bible makes it clear that delaying action when you know what you ought to do is dangerous. Scripture warns us against this very trap. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5, Paul speaks of the power we have to demolish strongholds. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Procrastination is one of those strongholds, an argument that opposes the urgency of God's calling on your life. It disguises itself as harmless delay but it's a tactic of the enemy to keep you bound. James 4.17 adds another layer to this truth. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. This verse makes it clear. Procrastination is not just a personal issue. It's a sin. If you know what God is calling you to do, whether it's pursuing a mission, acting in obedience, or fulfilling your divine purpose, Delaying that action is disobedience. The chosen ones are called to be obedient immediately, not when it's convenient or when they feel ready. The moment you procrastinate, you allow the enemy to establish a foothold in your life, preventing you from moving forward in the fullness of your calling. Ephesians 5 verse 14 echoes this urgency. Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Procrastination lulls you into a spiritual sleep, keeping you unaware of the opportunities God is placing in front of you. This verse is a wake-up call to the chosen ones. Now is the time to rise from complacency, from the slumber of inaction. You've been called to fulfill a divine purpose, and every delay is a step away from that destiny. When we look at biblical examples of obedience, we see that God rewards immediate action. Take Abraham, for instance, when God called him to sacrifice his son Isaac, Abraham didn't delay, question, or procrastinate. He rose early the next morning and set out in obedience, Genesis 22, verse 3. His faith and immediate action led to God's provision and the fulfillment of his promises. Another powerful example is Peter stepping out of the boat to walk on water. When Jesus called him, Peter didn't hesitate or wait for the conditions to feel right. He immediately obeyed and experienced the miraculous. Matthew 14, verse 29. These examples show the power of immediate obedience and how God moves in the lives of those who don't delay. Procrastination is framed as a sin because it directly opposes this kind of immediate obedience. God doesn't call us to wait until the timing feels perfect or until we've overcome every fear. He calls us to act now, trusting that his strength will sustain us. 
The enemy uses procrastination as a tool to undermine this trust, convincing us that we have time to waste or that we can wait for a more convenient moment. But the truth is, as James says, knowing what we ought to do and not doing it is sin. The chosen ones are not meant to live in hesitation, and the Bible is clear about the dangers of delaying when God has called you to act. Procrastination is a form of spiritual rebellion. It keeps you from stepping into your God-given purpose and holds you back from experiencing the fullness of what God has prepared for you. You must demolish the strongholds of procrastination with the spiritual weapons God has given you. Stand firm in your faith, take action when you know it's required, and trust that God's timing is perfect. As Ephesians 5.16 reminds us, we must make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Every moment you delay is a moment wasted, and in these critical times, the chosen ones must be vigilant. God has placed a unique calling on your life, and that calling requires immediate obedience. Procrastination is not just a delay. It's a spiritual trap that must be overcome if you are to walk fully in the purpose for which you've been chosen. Procrastination is a spiritual trap that has no place in the life of the chosen ones. It's time to reject it completely and take immediate action toward the purpose God has laid out for you. Every moment you delay, you distance yourself from the blessings and fulfillment that are waiting on the other side of your obedience. God has called you to something greater, and that calling requires you to act now, not later. Waiting will only strengthen the enemy's hold, building more chains and fortresses around your mind and spirit. But you have the power to break free. The Bible calls us to immediate obedience, and that's what is required of you today. Do not wait for the perfect moment or until you feel ready. God doesn't ask for perfection. He asks for faith and action. The moment you move forward in faith, God will meet you with his provision and guidance. Just as Abraham didn't hesitate when God tested him like, and Peter stepped out of the boat without second guessing, you too must act now. I urge you to reject procrastination today. Whatever it is that you've been putting off, whatever calling or task you've delayed, take the first step now. This is not just about improving your life. This is about fulfilling the divine purpose that you were chosen for. The time for waiting is over. By taking immediate action, you will unlock the blessings that God has stored up for you. Your breakthrough is on the other side of your obedience but you must move now, right now. Make the decision. Whatever you've been called to do, do it today. Act now and you will see how God opens doors, how he provides, and how he leads you into the fullness of your purpose. This is your moment, the moment to break free from the chains of procrastination and step boldly into your destiny. The Bible is filled with stories that highlight the power and importance of immediate obedience. And these stories serve as timeless lessons for all of us, especially for those who feel chosen for a greater purpose. When God calls, he doesn't ask for hesitation or delay. He asks for trust and action. And through the examples of Abraham, Peter, and the Israelites, we see what happens when immediate obedience is met with divine blessings. Abraham's journey is one of the most powerful illustrations of this. In Genesis 22, God commanded Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac, the very child through whom God promised to fulfill his covenant. Imagine the weight of that command, the emotional and spiritual struggle Abraham must have felt. But Abraham didn't hesitate or question God's plan. The Bible says he rose early the next morning to begin the journey, fully prepared to obey, even when it seemed impossible. Because of Abraham's immediate obedience, God provided a ram in place of Isaac, and Abraham's faith became a cornerstone for generations. In modern life, many of us face decisions that seem just as daunting. Whether it's a career move, a relationship decision, or stepping into a new role in life, the call to act may feel overwhelming. But just as God provided for, for Abraham, he will provide for you if you act in faith without delay. 
Another powerful example is Peter's decision to walk on water in Matthew 14, 22, 33. When the disciples saw Jesus walking toward them on the stormy sea, Peter asked Jesus to command him to come out of the boat. And when Jesus said, come, Peter didn't hesitate. He stepped out into the waves. For a moment, Peter walked on water, defying nature itself. It was only when he allowed fear and doubt to creep in that he began to sink. The lesson here is clear. When God calls you, even if it's into a situation that feels impossible, your immediate obedience is what unlocks the miraculous. In modern life, this could relate to taking bold steps into new ventures or following a calling that seems beyond your ability. The chosen ones, like Peter, are often called to step into unknown waters, but immediate action leads to breakthrough, while hesitation invites fear and failure. The story of the Israelites in the wilderness also shows the consequences of delayed obedience. After God delivered them from Egypt, he led them to the promised land. But when it was time to enter, the Israelites hesitated. They allowed fear and doubt to control their decision-making, leading to 40 years of wandering in the desert. What was meant to be a short journey turned into decades of delay because they did not act when God commanded. This story is a warning for us today. Delaying when God calls us to act can lead to missed opportunities and prolonged periods of waiting. In our lives, we may find ourselves wandering in circles, stuck in situations that feel stagnant, all because we didn't step into the promise when God presented the opportunity. These stories, while ancient, speak directly to the modern challenges we face. Maybe you've been called to start something new, to leave a situation behind, or to step into a role that feels intimidating. Just like Abraham, Peter, and the Israelites, the decision you make in that moment is critical. Immediate obedience opens doors to God's provision, blessings, and protection, while hesitation can lead to delay and miss destiny. Think about the situation you're facing right now. Is there something you know you should be doing, something you've been putting off, waiting for the right moment? The stories from the Bible remind us that the right moment is now. When God calls you to move, he's not waiting for perfection or for everything to align. He's waiting for your faith and action. The chosen ones are marked by their willingness to act immediately, and by doing so, they unlock the divine miracles that are waiting for them. The call is simple, don't delay. Just as Abraham rose early, Peter stepped out, and the Israelites were meant to move forward as your time is now. Step into your purpose, act on God's calling, and watch how he works in ways you can't even imagine. God's timing is perfect, and aligning yourself with it is crucial for fulfilling your purpose. As chosen ones, you are called to move when God calls, not when it's convenient or comfortable for you. The spiritual journey is not about waiting until you feel ready or until the circumstances seem ideal. It's about trusting that God's plan is unfolding at the right time, even if it requires stepping out of your comfort zone. When you delay, you aren't just postponing an action, you are directly opposing God's plan for your life. Every time you procrastinate, you are choosing your own comfort over God's timing. And that choice can lead to missed opportunities, moments where God was ready to bless you or advance you into your purpose. Just like in the biblical examples, immediate obedience is what unlocks God's favor and blessings. When you wait too long, you may miss the window of opportunity he has prepared for you. Procrastination isn't just about putting things off. It's about resisting the flow of God's divine timing. God's plans for you are set in motion, and each step of faith is meant to align with his purpose. When you hesitate, you disrupt that alignment. What could have been a moment of breakthrough becomes a period of stagnation, and the blessings that were meant for you might pass by, waiting for someone else who is ready to act in faith. Remember, God's timing isn't about your readiness. It's about your willingness to trust and obey. You may not feel ready, but that's exactly when God calls you to step out. He wants you to rely on his strength, 
not your own. And when you choose to move in his timing, even when it's uncomfortable, you open yourself up to divine provision and miracles. Waiting too long can mean wandering in circles, uh, just like the Israelites in the wilderness, who missed their moment of entering the promised land because of hesitation and fear. The chosen ones must understand that procrastination isn't neutral, it's opposition. It's a tactic that the enemy uses to keep you from stepping into the fullness of God's plan. By delaying, you give room for doubt and fear to grow. And in doing so, you close yourself off from the blessings that God has already set in place for you. This isn't just about missing out on something small. It's about missing the very reason you were chosen in the first place. God has placed a specific purpose on your life and he has set the right time for you to fulfill it. But that timing requires immediate obedience. The longer you wait, the more you risk losing the opportunity to see God move in your life in powerful ways. Don't let procrastination rob you of the blessings and opportunities that God has prepared for you. Trust, trust his timing, act in faith, and watch how everything falls into place according to his perfect plan. I need you to stop whatever you're doing right now and listen carefully. There's a hidden power, an ancient divine force that has been waiting for you to discover it. It's a gift from the universe, something that can change everything you know about your life. This isn't just a myth or a vague concept. It's a real tangible energy that can allow you to bend reality, to manifest your deepest desires and to step into the life you were always meant to live. Most people walk through life unaware of this power, trapped in cycles of routine and limitation, never realizing how close they are to unlocking the door to their true potential. But time is running out. The universe is shifting, and the opportunity to access this gift won't be open forever. The question is, are you ready to take control and awaken to this power, or will you let it slip through your fingers while the world around you changes forever? Imagine starting every day feeling unstoppable, armed with the knowledge that you hold the key to creating the life you've always dreamed of. It sounds too good to be true, but it's not. The power to manifest your desires is already inside you, as simple and effortless as flipping a switch. This isn't some distant, unreachable force. It's within you, waiting to be accessed. It's the same power that guides the stars in the sky and fuels the energy of the universe. You might not see it with your eyes, but it's there, an undeniable truth that is felt in every heartbeat, in every moment of stillness when you connect with the world around you. Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of the Science of Mind, believed that this divine power is always accessible, simply waiting for you to activate it. Holmes was a visionary, someone who understood that the universe operates according to spiritual laws, laws that govern the manifestation of everything in existence. He taught that our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs shape the reality we experience. You are not separate from the universe, but a part of its infinite potential, connected to an eternal source of creative power. This power doesn't ask for anything extraordinary from you, except that you believe in it, trust it, and use it. The secret lies in understanding that you are always creating, whether you realize it or not. Every thought you have, every emotion you feel, and every belief you hold sends out energy that shapes the world around you. Most people go through life unaware of this, allowing their minds to be cluttered with doubt, fear, and negativity. And without realizing it, they manifest more of the same into their lives. More fear, more limitations, more struggle. But here's the thing, the moment you become aware of this process, everything changes. You become the conscious creator of your reality. The life you want, the dreams you've held onto, no longer feel distant or impossible they start to feel within reach, because they are. Holmes understood that the mind is the most powerful tool we have. It can open doors or close them. It can build the future or destroy it. The choice is always yours, and the power is always within you. He often spoke about the law of cause and effect, explaining that what you think about consistently becomes the cause that leads to the effects you see in your life. If you focus on abundance, abundance grows. If you focus on lack, lack expands. The energy you put out is the energy that comes back to you. This isn't about magic or wishful thinking. 
It's about aligning yourself with the universal principles that govern everything in existence. When you understand that your thoughts create vibrations that ripple out into the world, you begin to take responsibility for the energy you're sending out. And when you do that, you can consciously direct your life in ways you've only dreamed of before. It all starts with a shift in mindset. The first step is believing that you have this power inside of you, that you're not at the mercy of external circumstances. The universe isn't working against you. It's working with you, responding to your thoughts, your energy, and your intentions. The moment you realize this, you become unstoppable. You can begin to manifest the things that truly matter to you, whether it's love, success, peace, or fulfillment. These are not distant dreams. They are realities waiting for you to bring them into existence. What Holmes wanted people to understand is that the power to create a better life, a better world, lies in each of us. It's not something only a few can access. It's a universal gift available to anyone who is willing to embrace it. The real question is whether you are ready to believe in it, to trust in your ability to manifest the reality you desire. Time is running out. The world is shifting in ways we cannot fully comprehend. But one thing remains true. The power to shape your life is within you. It's always been there, waiting for you to awaken to it. The question is, will you use it? Or will you let it slip away as the opportunity to transform your life quietly passes by? At the core of Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings is a profound and transformative belief. You are connected to the universe's infinite energy. This idea isn't just a philosophical notion, it's a foundational principle that underpins the entire science of mind philosophy. According to Holmes, the universe is an immense, boundless field of energy, and you are an integral part of it. This connection means that you are never isolated or powerless. Instead, you are always linked to a source of limitless potential, a universal force that responds to your inner world. Holmes taught that this universal energy is not separate from you, but is intertwined with every aspect of your being. Imagine it like a vast ocean of potential in which you are a drop. Just as a drop of water contains the essence of the entire ocean, you too hold the essence of the universe's boundless power within you. This means that whatever you seek, whether it's happiness, success, love, or fulfillment, is not out of reach, but is already part of your inherent potential. But here's the crucial point. While you are connected to this infinite energy, tapping into it requires an inner transformation. This transformation begins with your thoughts and beliefs. Holmes emphasized that the energy of the universe responds to your mental and emotional states. If your thoughts and beliefs are aligned with positivity, abundance, and possibility, then the universe mirrors that back to you. Conversely, if you are consumed by negativity, fear, and doubt, you will see more of those things manifest in your life. The first step in harnessing this universal energy is understanding and transforming your internal landscape. Your thoughts are incredibly powerful. They act as the seeds from which your reality grows. Just as a gardener tends to the soil to cultivate healthy plants, you need to tend to your mind and beliefs to cultivate a life of fulfillment. This means examining the beliefs you hold about yourself and the world. Are they empowering or limiting? Do they reflect a sense of abundance and possibility, or do they reinforce a mindset of scarcity and limitation? Holmes believed that you are already equipped with everything you need to create the life you want. This isn't about acquiring external tools or resources. It's about recognizing and unleashing the power that resides within you. The universe operates on spiritual laws, and one of the key laws is the law of attraction, which states that like attracts like. If you focus on positive, constructive thoughts, you attract similar energy into your life. If your mindset is one of limitation or lack, that's what you will continue to experience. Transforming your thoughts and beliefs requires conscious effort and practice. It involves reprogramming your mind to align with your true potential. This can be done through various practices such as affirmations, visualization, and mindfulness. Affirmations help to shift your thinking from negative to positive, reinforcing beliefs that support your goals and desires. Visualization allows you to see yourself achieving your dreams, creating a mental blueprint that your subconscious mind will work to bring into reality. Mindfulness helps you become aware of and change limiting beliefs 
bringing your thoughts and actions into harmony with your desires. In essence, Holmes's teaching is a call to recognize your divine connection and use it to transform your life. By aligning your thoughts and beliefs with the infinite energy of the universe, you can begin to manifest your dreams and create a reality that reflects your highest aspirations. It's about harnessing the power that is inherently yours and using it to craft the life you've always desired. This inner transformation is not just a path to personal fulfillment. It is the key to unlocking the boundless potential that the universe has in store for you. At the heart of harnessing the universe's infinite energy is the practice of visualization. Dr. Ernest Holmes highlighted the importance of vividly imagining the life you want to live. This process isn't just about daydreaming or fantasizing. It's a powerful tool for aligning yourself with the universal energy that can transform your reality. Visualization involves creating clear, detailed mental images of your desired outcomes. It's like painting a picture in your mind of the life you want to experience. The more vivid and detailed these images are, the more effectively they can influence your reality. When you visualize, you tap into the universe's creative force, using your mind as a canvas to project and manifest your desires. Holmes understood that our minds have a profound impact on our experiences. By visualizing your goals, you are not just thinking about them. You are immersing yourself in the emotions and sensations of achieving them. This emotional engagement is crucial because it helps to align your subconscious mind with your conscious desires. When your feelings and thoughts are in harmony, you create a powerful energy that attracts similar vibrations from the universe. To make visualization effective, it's essential to use clear mental images. This means imagining not just the end result, but also the process and the feelings associated with it. For instance, if you're visualizing a successful career, picture yourself in the environment where you're thriving. See the details of your workspace, hear the sounds of success, and feel the satisfaction of achievement. The clearer and more specific your mental images, the more compelling and persuasive they become to the universe. Positive affirmations complement visualization by reinforcing the mental images you create. These are statements that declare your goals as already achieved. For example, if your visualization focuses on financial abundance, you might use affirmations like, I am effortlessly attracting wealth and prosperity. Repeating these affirmations helps to solidify your belief in your desired outcome, making it easier for the universe to align with your intentions. In addition to visualization and affirmations, spiritual practices can deepen your connection to universal energy. Practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and gratitude help to cultivate a mindset that is receptive to positive change. Meditation allows you to quiet your mind, making it easier to focus on your visualizations and affirmations. Mindfulness keeps you present and aware of your thoughts, ensuring they are aligned with your goals. Gratitude amplifies your positive energy by acknowledging and appreciating what you already have, which in turn attracts more of what you desire. Holmes' teaching suggests that when you engage in these practices, you are not just passively wishing for change, you are actively participating in the creation of your reality. Your reality. By vividly imagining the life you want, reinforcing it with positive affirmations, and supporting it with spiritual practices, you align yourself with the universal energy. This alignment creates a powerful synergy that accelerates the manifestation of your desires. In summary, visualization is a key component in transforming your life through the universe's infinite energy. By creating detailed mental images, using positive affirmations, and incorporating spiritual practices, you tap into the creative force that lies within you. This alignment with universal energy is the gateway to achieving your dreams and creating the reality you've always wanted. The power to shape your life is already within you. Visualization is the tool that brings it to the forefront. To make Dr. Ernest Holmes' philosophy actionable, he encourages a fundamental shift in mindset. Instead of viewing life through the lens of obstacles and limitations, Holmes advocates for training yourself to see endless possibilities and abundance. This shift is not about wishful thinking or hoping for better circumstances. It's about cultivating a profound trust in your ability to co-create with the universe. 
Holmes understood that our perceptions shape our experiences. If you see life as a series of challenges and barriers, that is precisely what you will encounter. Your beliefs act as filters through which you interpret and respond to the world around you. If your mindset is focused on limitations, you will be more likely to notice and attract situations that reinforce this view. Conversely, if you train yourself to perceive opportunities in abundance, you open yourself up to a flow of positive experiences and possibilities. To cultivate this mindset shift, begin by consciously changing the way you think about challenges. Rather than viewing them as insurmountable obstacles, try to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. Every challenge carries the potential for valuable lessons and can lead you to new paths of success. By adopting this perspective, you start to transform difficulties into stepping stones towards your goals. This shift also involves moving from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance. Scarcity thinking holds that resources are limited and that you must compete with others for what you need. Ab abundance thinking, on the other hand, recognizes that the universe is vast and full of opportunities. It operates on the principle that, that there is more is more than enough for everyone and that success and prosperity are not finite. When you embrace an abundance mindset, you become more open to receiving and sharing, which naturally attracts more positive experiences into your life. Cultivating a deeper trust in your ability to co-create with the universe is a crucial part of this mindset shift. Trusting in your power means believing that you have the ability to influence and shape your reality through your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. This trust isn't just about having faith in the process, but also about believing in your own capabilities. It requires a commitment to self-awareness and personal growth, recognizing that you are an active participant in the creation of your life. Building this trust involves several practices. Start by reflecting on past experiences where you have successfully manifested your desires or achieved goals. Acknowledge your role in these successes and use them as evidence of your co-creative power. Additionally, engage in regular practices such as affirmations, visualization, and gratitude to reinforce your belief in your ability to create positive change. It's also also helpful to self with supportive influences. Seek out people who share your mindset and encourage your growth. Avoid environments and relationships that reinforce scarcity and limitation. Instead, immerse yourself in communities and experiences that align with your vision of abundance and possibility. In summary, Dr. Ernest Holmes' philosophy is actionable through deliberate mindset shifts. By training yourself to see life's challenges as opportunities, adopting an abundance mindset, and cultivating a deep trust in your ability to co-create with the universe, you align yourself with the universal energy that can transform your reality. This mindset shift isn't a passive act, but an ongoing practice that empowers you to manifest the life you desire and to engage with the world in a more meaningful and fulfilling way. I need you to stop whatever you're doing right now and listen carefully. There's a profound opportunity in front of you, and it's time to dive into it. As we explore these teachings together, I want you to engage with this content on a deeper level. So let's make this interactive and personal. Take a moment to really think about this. What limiting beliefs are holding you back? These are the thoughts and ideas that have been ingrained in you over time, the ones that tell you what you can't do or what you don't deserve. Reflect on them. What stories have you been telling yourself about your potential? Are there any beliefs that have kept you stuck in the same patterns or prevented you from reaching for your dreams? Write these down. What are the specific phrases or thoughts that come to mind? For instance, maybe you've thought, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed in this area. By identifying these beliefs, you're taking the first step towards transforming them. You're shining a light on the shadows that have been dimming your potential. Now, let's shift the focus a bit. I want you to visualize and imagine something powerful. How do you envision your best life? Picture it in vivid detail. What does it look like? Where are you? Who are you with? How do you feel in this vision of your ideal life? Take a few moments to immerse yourself in this image. Think about the daily experiences of this best life. What are you doing? How are you interacting with others? What kind of work are you involved in? How do you spend your free time? The more detailed your vision, 
the more real and attainable it becomes. Imagine yourself living this life with all the richness and fulfillment it entails. I encourage you to write this vision down as well. Describe it with as much detail as you can. This exercise is not just about fantasizing. It's about setting a clear, actionable intention. When you have a vivid picture of what you want, it becomes easier to align your thoughts and actions with that vision. But let's not stop there. Reflect on the connection between your limiting beliefs and your vision. How might these beliefs be impacting your ability to achieve the life you want? Are there any ways that these limiting beliefs might be standing in the way of your vision? For example, if you believe that you're not capable of success, how might that belief be influencing your actions or decisions? Here's where the real work begins. As you address these reflections, start thinking about how you can challenge and change those limiting beliefs. What steps can you take to shift your mindset? Perhaps you could practice affirmations that counteract these negative beliefs or seek support from others who can help you reframe your thinking. To make this process even more engaging, I invite you to share your reflections. What did you discover about your limiting beliefs? How does your vision of your best life look? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comments below or engage with others who are on this journey. This shared space can become a source of inspiration and support as we all work towards creating the life we truly desire. Remember, this is not just an exercise, but a stepping stone towards a deeper understanding of yourself and your potential. By actively engaging with these questions, you're not only connecting with the teachings on a personal level, but also taking powerful steps towards transforming your life. So take your time with these reflections. The insights you gain today can pave the way for profound changes and align you with the abundant possibilities that the universe offers. Your journey towards a more fulfilling and empowered life starts with these moments of introspection. Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings are deeply rooted in a tradition of spiritual wisdom that spans centuries and cultures. His insights into the power of thoughts, beliefs, and the universe are not just modern concepts, but part of a timeless spiritual tapestry that connects ancient wisdom with contemporary self-help practices. By bridging the gap between ga Holmes' philosophy and these broader spiritual traditions, we can see how his principles are relevant and enduring and furring uh, echoing through the ages. Holmes' core belief that we are connected to the universe's infinite energy and have the power to shape our reality resonates strongly with ancient spiritual traditions. For instance, in Eastern philosophies like Buddhism and Hinduism, the concept of interconnectedness and the power of the mind are central themes. Buddhism teaches that our perceptions and intentions shape our experiences, a concept parallel to Holmes' idea that our thoughts influence the reality we create. Similarly, in Hinduism, the notion of the universe being an interconnected whole reflects Holmes' belief in our intrinsic connection to the universal energy. This connection between ancient wisdom and Holmes' teachings becomes even more evident when considered practices like meditation and visualization. These practices have been used for thousands of years to align individuals with higher states of consciousness and manifest desired outcomes. In ancient Taoist traditions, for example, meditation is used to cultivate harmony with the natural flow flow of the universe, akin to Holmes' emphasis on aligning one's thoughts and beliefs with universal energy. By visualizing desired outcomes and meditating on our intentions, we tap into the same timeless principles that Holmes advocates. In modern self-help practices, we see a reflection of Holmes' teachings and concepts like the law, the law of Attraction, popularized in recent decades. The Law of Attraction posits that like attracts like, and that our thoughts and feelings attract corresponding experiences into our lives. This modern practice echoes Holmes' emphasis on the power of positive thinking and the role of mental imagery in shaping our reality. Just as Holmes encourages vivid visualization and positive affirmations to manifest desires, Contemporary self-help methods advocate similar practices to harness the power of the mind. What's powerful about Holmes' teachings is their ability to bridge these ancient and modern perspectives, showing that the principles he shares are not new, but rather part of a broader spiritual and psychological continuum. 
His emphasis on mindset shifts, the power of thought, and the connection to universal energy aligns seamlessly with the core teachings of ancient spiritual traditions and modern self-help practices alike. Holmes' philosophy also highlights the timeless nature of these principles by demonstrating their universal applicability. Whether you look at ancient scriptures or contemporary self-help literature, the underlying message remains consistent. Our inner world profoundly affects our outer reality. This consistency across different traditions and time periods underscores the enduring relevance of Holmes's insights. By understanding Holmes's teachings through the lens of both ancient spiritual wisdom and modern practices, we gain a deeper appreciation for their timeless value. They are not isolated ideas, but part of a continuous thread of knowledge that spans human history. This broader perspective allows us to see how these principles can be applied in various contexts, offering us a rich and multifaceted approach to personal growth and spiritual development. In essence, Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings are a modern expression of ancient truths, just showing that the wisdom of the ages is alive and well in contemporary self-help and spiritual practices. By bridging the gap between these perspectives, we can appreciate the depth and relevance of Holmes's insights and apply them to our lives with greater clarity and purpose. By integrating Dr. Ernest Holmes's teachings with ancient spiritual wisdom and modern self-help practices, we unlock a comprehensive framework for personal transformation. This synthesis not only highlights the timeless nature of these principles, but also provides a practical roadmap for applying them in our lives today. One of the key aspects of this integration is understanding how the universal laws Holmes describes are reflected in various spiritual and self-help traditions. For instance, the principle of cause and effect central to Holmes's philosophy is mirrored in the concept of karma in Eastern traditions. Karma emphasizes that our actions, thoughts, and intentions have a direct impact on our future experiences. Similarly, Holmes's notion that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality aligns with the idea that positive or negative energy we put out into the world will return to us in kind. Furthermore, Holmes' focus on mental imagery and the power of belief is echoed in the practices of ancient mystics and contemporary coaches alike. Ancient alchemy and mysticism often involved visualizing and meditating on desired outcomes as a means of transformation. These practices were rooted in the belief that the mind has the power to influence reality, a concept that modern self-help methodologies continue to champion. The visualization techniques promoted by contemporary thought leaders can be seen as a modern evolution of these age-old practices. In practical terms, this means that the strategies and exercises recommended by Holmes such as affirmations, meditation, and goal setting are not just abstract concepts, but are grounded in a rich tradition of spiritual and psychological practices. These methods have been refined and validated over centuries, proving their efficacy across different cultures and eras. Holmes' teachings also emphasize the importance of inner alignment with one's external goals, a concept that is reflected in both ancient spiritual practices and modern personal development. In ancient traditions, rituals and ceremonies often aimed to align the practitioner's inner state with cosmic forces. Today, similar principles uh, are applied in coaching and personal development, where aligning one's mindset with their goals is considered crucial for achieving success. By viewing Holmes's teachings through the lens of these diverse traditions, we gain valuable insights into how to harness these principles effectively. For example, understanding that visualization and affirmation are practices rooted in a long history of spiritual and psychological work can deepen our commitment to these practices. It helps us recognize that we are participating in a time-honored tradition of personal transformation, connecting us to a broader historical and cultural context. Moreover, this holistic view encourages us to integrate these practices into our daily lives in a meaningful way. For instance, Setting aside time for meditation and visualization can be seen as participating in a long-standing tradition of aligning the mind with one's goals. Similarly, using affirmations and positive thinking can be viewed as engaging with universal principles that have guided individuals towards success and fulfillment throughout history. In conclusion, bridging Dr. Ernest Holmes' teachings with ancient spiritual wisdom and modern self-help practices provides a richer, 
more nuanced understanding of his principles. It shows that the insights he offers are not just relevant to contemporary life, but are part of a timeless continuum of spiritual and psychological knowledge. This integration allows us to appreciate the, the depth and enduring value of these teachings and empowers us to apply them more effectively in our own lives. By recognizing the historical and cultural context of these practices, we can approach personal transformation with greater confidence and clarity, knowing that we are part of a long tradition of seeking and achieving profound change.